CP3 has had on a guy like Shea Gilgis Alexander, who continues to come into his own year two in the league. Just invaluable what Paul can bring to a team block a little. And he seems to have really enjoyed it with this group. I think he didn't have any idea what to expect after the trade. Didn't know if Oklahoma City was going or, um, I thought Lou Dort, you know, had some really, really good looks. He didn't shoot the ball that well. It's going to be part of it, but we can't have it impact his defense and what he does on the other floor. So I think pace-wise, on both ends, we, we, we've got to be better here against the second. Coach, it's been a very intense. All right, Rebecca, so stand. So Russell Westbrook returns four points in that opening quarter. What have you seen so far? Give us your thoughts. Well, it's mainly Houston's defense and Oklahoma City's lack of luck, and Lou Dort has not. Other guys involved. Here's Baisley on a three. That's good. And that's the problem. Well, you know Houston can hurt you with threes, but you've got to be able to close off those drives, particularly on a guy like PJ Tucker. Not a great ball handler. Not seems rattled perhaps with his struggles tonight. Rivers to the cup. Can't finish. Rebound Baisley. Here's Dort, blocked by Harden. Loose ball, Paul. Westbrook missing eight of the last nine, four of the five seeding games with that right quad strain as House misses a three. Rockets haven't needed much from Westbrook so far. He's played 18 minutes and has scored five points. Paul left open. And Paul has been huge. And the two losses, not nearly as effective. Green from three. It's well, a rare miss by the Rockets. If you want Chris Paul to get going or Shea Gilgis Alexander, you're going to somehow have to get him some space on the floor. Right now, every shot they're going to have to make is difficult because there's just no room. Gilgis Alexander is now two of seven. Paul sizes up green. Rockets are out of fouls. Baisley, that's a long two. Rebound House, still plenty of time. Here he comes, barreling up the floor. House stumbling, off balance. And that's about the only thing that... And that three-point avalanche by Houston continues. This is Darius Baisley on a three, got it. Darius Baisley's really in time. Westbrook hanging in the air, he's still kind of... Looks like a guy trying to find his game. First time he's been on the floor in two and a half weeks. Baisley on three, left it short. This ends up 30 or two. It's just one loss. Here comes Austin Rivers, strong move to the cup. And the rebound by Baisley. One thing we know about this Oklahoma City team, as resilient a club as there has been in the NBA this season. Three-pointer by Ferguson is no good. Lost the first two games of the series by double D. Big minutes, conditioning and everything else. Mike D'Antoni may just want him to get more work in. It's an interesting decision. It's hard to wait at the table. Baisley, no, this will be a push. Loose ball foul. Been very efficient with Lou Dort still being his primary defender. 31 for Harden, 11 of 15 from the field. Four of eight from three and five of six at the line. Baisley turns it over. Well, Harden's just waiting in the middle of the lane. Now he's guarding. That time he was guarding Terrence Ferguson. You know, you're in the playoffs now, and people have had time to really adjust and game plan as you go into game five. You put a guy, a guy out there who can't shoot, nobody's going to guard him. And you're going to be playing four offensive players against five defenders. Covington has now hit a career high five three pointers. Well, Houston's consistently broken down the Oklahoma City defense and gotten into the paint and then made plays from there. Three pointer from Baisley, a little bit short. And is even when he goes through tough stretches during the year, he will shoot the ball from three every time he's open, and that makes him very, very dangerous. The guys I was always concerned about coaching against them, it wasn't... Allo is a little bit slow to get to his feet. Well, Covington again. Surprising that one didn't go down. It was in and out. Yet no one has embraced 
small ball and the three-pointer like the Houston Rockets. Three straight years now. Understand, even in the playoffs, there's going to be nights like this. The other team gets it rolling, and you get blown out. Shea Gilgis Alexander, still a young guy. Luke Dort, a rookie. Those guys could get overwhelmed with this. It's going to be a... Former slam dunk champion Ben McLemore, who has resuscitated his career with Houston. It was kind of an afterthought. They invited him to training camp. You know,